Okay, we're back. Um, hey, the school's yeah. around here. This place was made for you. Let me school where? Oh, skull. Mm. Voice of school. I was like, I'm, I couldn't be further from a school right now. Hmm. I'm in town. The concept of school is all around you. Revenge on. Mr. Could you not Bond. argue that life is the greatest school of them all? Uh, you could. Hmm. Certainly could. So I like this mission because it stars. But da 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 da. This girl. What are you looking at? Nothing. Is well, she it tough? Like you're looking at me, scumbag. Like I said, nothing. Hey, oh, what an on. asshole! <laughs> He's a scumbag. My name's Jimmy. Is she the the OTP? I was at Woolworth once. I got One true pairing. Oh yeah. Let's just say Mr. Burton One is a One true pair of tits. Oh, boy. Let him. You know, I wonder how old she is. Every day and regularly uses the porta potties in the She does look a bit older, doesn't she? Yeah. yeah. So if we could catch I don't... him in one on top of a hill, then Mr. Burton could I don't know really why she knows yeah, that. They're all chained together. Uh, we need to get some don't Especially she Go got expelled. Yeah. Because she accused Mr. Sure Burton, no the gym teacher, of um, trying to try and have it on with her. Make him, yeah. And uh, in the end, she got expelled for it. And. Uh, now, for some reason, she stalks him and realizes that. And, well, she's found out that he actually uses porta potties in um in the park when he goes for a jog. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Okay. Does she stalk him to get dirt on him for revenge? I get that's the only thing I can think of. Mm. But otherwise, it's just it's it's wrong. It's fucked up. Yeah, hey, look at me on the docks. This is pretty cool. You reminded me of that weird thing that happened at Monk's Dyke with a PE teacher. Oh, right, yeah. He was successful, though. Yes. Very successful. Well, actually, from the way I heard the story is that she's the one who offered. She was! Yeah, she's but... a fucking slut. She was in my year. Well, I just don't understand why she did it. I don't know. I mean, it was because she didn't want a bad mark in PE, wasn't it? Or she didn't want to get in trouble. I don't know. Well... When I was told it was just her getting in trouble, but I think it was a bit more than that. She was going to be Excelled. kicked out of school or something. Right. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? This is the worst marker. Get off it! You piece of shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. I that also reminds me. Did you watch that latest eight out of ten cats with Johnny Vegas? Yeah. That bit, whole bit with the food was hilarious, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't like Johnny Vegas. Did you like him in that? He's a bit of a detention whore. Well, a bit. Well, no, the fact that he's an detention whore kind of just like... It... It sponges all the good stuff, if you know what I mean. Sometimes I know what you mean. I think he was quite good in that episode. Fucking hell, look at the size of that moth out my window. Is your window closed? Yes, it is, thankfully. But at the same time... Ah! Wrong no! way. It's in the building! Building? What? I don't know. You don't know, do you? You don't know. Get anyway. Bonkers. How do I know these are here? But yeah, sometimes he's like that. In fact, they even joked. He was on the last leg the other day. And he even said, if I'm still... Um, well, no, he says, you're on for 20 minutes. And then we're going to the next bit. And he goes, all right, if I'm still on after 30, you're going to have to fight me off. Because he kind of knows that he's a bit of an attention whore. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> There's a bit in it where he's um, like saying... They're like eating food and being all sloppy. It's like, we should put a 500 number down here. I used to sell tea bags. Now I gotta make the rent some other way. <laughs> I don't know why, but just. I, well, it's clear why. It's a funny joke. Oh, I just yeah. don't like him personally. Yeah. And when you don't like somebody, it's hard to find them funny. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I know what you, you mean. can't help but find them funny. But mm. It's like, ah, oh, damn it, you got me. I hate you, but you got me. Mm. It's like um, the relationship me and Adam have. I mean, we don't really like each other, but there's some things that we, you know, see. We actually do see eye to eye on. I think it's the reason. It's not like we don't like each other. It's just that we're very different people. 
And it's hard to get along with each other. Uh, to, to even make, to even rack up like a decent conversation every now and then is difficult. Could you do me a favor? Yes. Could you pick that white t-shirt and put it on my black uh, jeans, please? What the fuck? What's this couple doing? I'll take care of this. You make sure he doesn't use one of the other ones. Thanks. This sounds like it's gonna be good. <laughs> what? The audio messed up there, and he, he, the line was, "This sounds like it's gonna be good." But he just said, this sounds like it's gonna... Good. <laughs> okay. What am I doing? Hi, Zoe. I like her style. It's very punky. Yeah. Oh, God. That was a good idea. I'm gonna do that to all of them. Because usually you have to punch them for ages. But now, I know, now that I know you can just do that. Can I just bail up at the bike? Oh, okay, it didn't work. And I ain't got a lot of time to do it. Momentum! Oh, he didn't like I'm doing this. I did it! That didn't look like it should have worked. Alright, you ready? I'm gonna do it this time. Ah! Oh, fucking no, hell! No, it needs you. It does need You me. make the magic work. Oh! He that wasn't a good. Dog. I ran over a dog. That's not what I thought would happen. <laughs> what did you think would happen? So I guess it is for revenge then. Fucking hell! I like it. I'm gonna skate over. Maybe it'll impress her. No, oh, look at him jiggle. Ah, uh, damn! It looks like a pair. Oh, look at this! Two people. One you know, the other you know, Mr. Burton. And they just stood next to this. What do you think is gonna happen? Shh, shh, shh. Go! <laughs> oh wow! Apparently they did all that. Wow, he could have died. Oh my God! Corn! I didn't have <laughs> corn for dinner. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> this is awful. He's actually got turds all over him. Oh, yuck! God damn! I stink. I'm gonna have to shower for days! He's being very PG bleach. about this. Ah, yeah. This is worse than when I got hazed! Hazed? Look at him jiggle! <laughs> <laughs> He's very flappable. I got 30 bucks from Zoe. If I give her back, do you think she'll, uh. Alright! Yeah, do you think she'll, um. Be your friend forever? Hey! What a jump! That was weird. That was awesome. Beam color. Buy it now, or die. I wonder what if lesson just, is it? Do you think... Oh, uh, it's biology. Alright, yay. Wait, did I fail this last time? Please. Yeah. Was it really difficult? Oh, it's over. Damn! Uh, silly. Well, I don't know, you, you were pretty shit at it. So I don't know if it was difficult, but you were pretty shit at it. Hey, but don't mind me doing this. I was doing really well. I was, in fact, I only had one more thing to do, didn't I? And well, I yeah, just and missed it. No. Can handle the pressure. I'll handle your pressure. Oh my god, it's so easy. You. It's so easy. So what? They, they don't move out of the way because it's not a fast enough vehicle. Shit. I can still knock them down on their ass. And the, the police run away from me. They run oh, away. The, the adults come after me. Holy shit. Okay, what's going on right now? Preppy's vandalized. <laughs> I'm unstoppable! I'm unstoppable in this thing! <laughs> oh no, the police are following oh, you! Oh, they're killing each other! They're going against each other! Oh, he was on a bicycle! Oh shit, what am I gonna do? They're all over me! How many crap is Help it? Help me! This is just escalating like crazy! Hang on a minute, how many are behind me? Stop him! Oh He's God. slowly getting away! Alright, I'm gonna do a sick jump. You ready? Alright. Holy shit, he actually got me. Run away! No! Holy shit! There were too many. He like grabbed your throat. Yeah. It's fucked up. Who was that guy? Was that like Steamboat Willie or something? He just went, yar! Don't run me over. Thank you. Thank you for doing as I said. So we're gonna do a sick jump. Holy shit, fuck off. We're gonna do a sick jump. 
Um, and then go and do this mission. Whee! Oh, nice. I forget what the jump button is. Oh, I just did the jump button. Ah! Oh, it's already next lesson. What is it? Music. Oh, that's so boring. You don't get anything for it. Alright. No, you can do it if you want. Do you want? Sure. Okay. <coughs> What the hell did you do? What? What the hell did you do? Uh, I'm. It's lesson time, and I'm not in school. And the police know that. Yeah. Okay. They see me outside of school within the hours of lesson time. They'll try to kill me. Don't you have any free periods? I don't know. Oh god, we've only got 20 minutes to get there. Why was it all dark there? Did you see that? Yeah, it did go a bit dark, didn't it? That's fucked up. What do you think? Oh, have you have you seen any of the gameplay for The Last Guardian? Fuck. Yes, I have. What do you think? Uh, looks all right. Hmm. Looks pretty much like you'd expect, doesn't it? Mm. Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh my god! If it killed me for that, I would have been very mad. No! That's bullshit. It is bullshit. Jesus Christ. Good, right outside the door as well. What is this goddamn problem? Now He's a then, nerd. Here? Hey, it's Eunice. That's we haven't seen her in a while. She, her, her lips don't move when she speaks. Hey, Miraculous. Is this basically this a rhythm game? Yeah. <laughs> Last time it was Cowbell, now it's Miraculous. I can't hear anything. Really? You don't yeah. want it. It's horrible. It's really horrible. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Where is everybody else? I bet there's nobody else playing. Look, oh my god, she's, ast she's astonished by our play. She she's loves it. She's like, oh my god, you're the best. You're the best Maracas player in the world. You can play my Maracas any day. She's oh, it's cut in now. It's You're distracting for a little while. Rhythm, I'm natural banging your rhythm. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. What what was that? that what was... did we get? Mm -hmm. Oh god damn it, Andrew! You didn't see it either. I caught a glimpse of it. It was said Bullworth shirt or something. I Bullworth. caught a glimpse of it. What did it say? Bullworth shirt or something. You're a fucking <laughs> asshole, you know that. <laughs> Oh god, I can't see it here because it's not. Oh my god, we've almost got a thousand dollars. One thousand dollars. When when we hit a thousand dollars, I think we should buy the school. Because that's how you complete the game. You buy the school. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off, bastard. Bushed it, bastard. Oh no! Fuck you! Like seriously, what did I even do? I can punch that guy. <laughs> Is that all you got to say, Andrew? Hmm? Is that all you got to say? Uh, I have nothing to say. Sorry, a bitch. That's mine now. <laughs> I like Look, how stealing someone's bike is one thing, but you don't have to be mean about it. It stealing itself is mean, so of course I have to be mean about it. What's a prefect doing over here? <gasps> oh. Oh, you're going down, kid. I think you'll find I am not. Preppy is vandalized. Yeah, they got s oh, fucked in the ass or something. Mr. Mr. Big Dick. Yeah, it was you, creep. What was me? Don't play innocent. <laughs> you call him a creep? I tried that when father yeah. caught me with nanny. <clears throat> he gave me a good thrashing, and I've got half a mind to give you one. Hey, look, just get That's the such a stereotype. Stole our boxing trophies, buddy. Like anybody who has like a, well, it wasn't me, a nanny. Rich boy. Do so upper class people well, have a you, reputation for being good boxers? I bet it was those grease. I don't know about that. I know it. They've always hated us. It's quite an so old school peace, thing, boxing. Time, it was Just very great. popular in America, Let's like back in the day. Yes. Mm. It's time to teach those poor. You know, there's been more deaths since they invented boxing gloves. Maybe it wasn't that. Really? 
Maybe yeah. It's someone else. The idea Nobody is to protect the, the arms so Talk that they can fight oh, for yeah, longer. They do. It's Everyone not actually a safety You're thing. All awful. You know? Now mm. he tells us. Also, you did you know that the heavyweight, heavyweight champion um, it was this white way. guy with Come a mustache? On, men. And then a black guy won it. And the white guy came out of retirement just to prove that a black man would never be better than a white man at boxing. And you know what happened? What happened? He got his ass kicked by the black guy. Well, that learned him. Score one for not racism. You know what they should. You know what people just should not do? Be racist. Fuck the black people. <laughs> no? They'll kick your ass, regardless of whether or not you're racist. What if it's Urkel? What? Urkel, he's a nerdy guy from an American show. He'd still kick your ass, he's black. He voiced Sonic the Hedgehog as well. So he'd be the fastest kid alive. What? He's, um... What? He's, a uh... Ezio. No, not that one. The, um... The cartoon one. The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Really? Yeah. Sonic, oh, he was a black guy. Adventure. Well, I suppose I could see that. I mean, he sounded very young. It easily could have been a young black kid. He was Although doing his nerdy voice. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, it's very late, isn't it? It's almost like 10. Yeah. Do you think um, Sonic would be cooler? You know how his kind of radical 90 is kind of cool? Yeah. Do you think it would be cool if... You know, like, Captain America is cool because he's sincerely really nice and sort of folksy and everything. I think they should do that with Sonic the Hedgehog where he's really cheesy and sort of radical and, yeah, dude. But everyone around him is kind of mean, you know? So he's like um, a spark of hope. Hmm. I think that's a good dynamic. I guess. Did you know that Yahtzee was originally going to write for Duke Nukem Forever? Not originally, but he was asked to. No. Yeah, and um, his idea was um, to make Duke Nukem like Johnny Bravo, where he thinks he's great and amazing, but everyone else kind of sees him from the big cheese bag that he is. Yeah, I'd, I'd like a Johnny Bravo game. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, Andrew, let's get the shit out of me. I'm sorry. What the fuck do you think you're doing, moving lo so luggish? <laughs> All I did was accidentally kick the gigantic fucking filing cabinet that's taking up half your room. So... Oh, apparently the townies were the ones who did the rats thing. They're just doing everything these days. Mm, but anyway, yeah, they didn't hire him because the guy who was making the game wanted, like, for it to be a fantasy world where everyone loves Duke Nukem. Like, oh, you're so cool. Which in itself is kind of funny too. Like, um, when you're drawing on the whiteboard and the guy goes, Oh my god, that's... That's so good, I don't even know what it means. Do you remember that? Yeah, it's like they're tell tell telling you about um, their plan to fight the giant alien. Oh, shit! And it gives you the opportunity to draw freehand on the whiteboard, and no matter what you do, he just says, Oh man, that's. I don't know what it means, but it's so good! I don't remember that. Yeah. Do you remember the bit where you can pick up your poo and throw it around? What, in Duke Nukem Forever? Yeah. Oh, I haven't played much of that game. Neither have I, but, you know. <coughs> yeah, I've done, I've seen that. It's all I did in the demo. <laughs> She's picking my shit in it. What the hell is wrong with me? What kind of sick weirdo <laughs> picked up one's feces? <coughs> yeah. So they just spawned in, that was nice. Nice of you to do that after we were here. Also, you know how the problem with making a Sonic game is that he's so fast that the only way you can really make him that fast is to sort of limit the amount of choices you have to make. Otherwise, you could never control him. What? Well, Sonic is really fast, isn't he? Yeah. So if you're constantly running fast in a straight line, you're not going to have the reaction time that he has in real life, are you? Or in real time. It's like when you press counter in Batman, you don't really have his super senses, but in the sort of way your controls translate to Batman, it's sort of you being as clever and smart as he is, right? Yeah. But with Sonic the Hedgehog, if you were actually going that fast and it, the things on the screen were actually moving quickly, you wouldn't have a reaction time to do anything too complex, would you? 
and that's always been the problem with translating into 3D because with 2D you know you just have to move to the right basically try not to hit anything deadly and even then it's tricky so once I think that's why it's been difficult to make 3D Sonic games yeah I think they should um, I mean obviously some of them have been alright I quite like Shadow of a Hedgehog even though it wasn't very popular yeah, but I believe that was a pop. Well, it was popular, I think. I mean, a lot of people bought it. Well, yeah, but people always buy Sonic games because they think, oh, maybe this one, this will be the good one. But um, I kind of like how, just how gritty and over the top it is. It's cool. Even though it's, uh, you know, ridiculous. Yeah. And the multiple path thing is cool, all the alternate endings and all the guns. <coughs> I actually quite liked using guns. Yeah, I did too. It was a good gun mechanic. Mm. You know, the whole lockdown. It was especially good when you got like a heavy machine gun. Those were the best, weren't they? Yeah. And then, death to all who oppose well, me. Hopper, what did you find? Yeah, being yeah. evil was who pretty fun. They made that pretty Don't fun. Tell me. Mm. It was the the whole limited ammo yeah. thing. That didn't Either have to be a thing, but I'm glad it was. Balls. Yeah. Because there was just one point when you're in the gun fortress, it was and it was, it was like an infinite spawnage of um, the factory, those robots that drop uh, machine guns, yeah. like miniguns. And once you killed enough I'm of them to get, to um, Why? They don't have any to get with chaos yeah. control, yeah. Just love rich all you had to do was just keep killing them. You could just keep doing it over and over again. And like as a kid, you know, that's exactly what I like to do. Um, trophies. Why? What was I talking about a minute because ago? Sonic. Oh yeah. You know how in Sly no, Cooper you can just Gary. press circle and it does everything. Like you can swing on a hook, grandeur. stand on a Nobody spire, sneak around a corner. Yeah. I think they need a button yeah, like that for Sonic so that you can on, basically Let's leave easily initiate, say, walking up a wall or running up a. Imagine if he was fighting a giant robot, and part of the fighting was like um, running up his body, and then as you're running up his body, there are like lots of electrodes and things that you have to dodge and enemies and everything. Mm. That'd be quite epic, wouldn't it? I guess. Thirty dollars. Who gave me those forty dollars? Mm. We've got a thousand dollars now. What else? Oh, and also, you know that whole good and bad thing in Chad of a Hedgehog. Yeah. One thing I really liked about Infamous, or Infamous 2, is that, did you notice, I always play good, because that's just how I like to be, but um, when I started playing the evil missions, did you notice there's way more variety? Um, what, way more, way more different tasks? Yeah, because like, in the good missions, it's basically just fight the baddies, but in the bad missions, it's like, fight the baddies, but you're on a trolley, or fight the baddies, but, um... You got a machine gun turret and shit like that. <clears throat> yeah. And I think what was brilliant about that game is it depicts sort of like how crime doesn't pay or evil doesn't pay. Like, um, you play all these fun missions like, wow, being evil is actually kind of fun. And look, I can beat up pedestrians and get extra points for it. This is... Maybe being evil isn't that great. And then it ends. You know how it ends, don't you? Yeah. Of course with, I do. With having to kill Zeke. And that was, that was one of those moments in gaming where like, you know, you, you remember that forever because I didn't want to kill him. It took me forever to finally press the button and kill him, you know? Mm, yeah. I pressed it once and he's like, staggering up, he's like, oh no, he's getting back up, I have to do it again. It took me ages still, I pressed it again and then one more time just to get it over with and it's kind of like, that solidifies sort of how, um, like maybe being bad and evil and stuff can be fun but it doesn't pay off because you end up hurting people yeah but in Shadow, in Shadow of a Hedgehog it, it shut up. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ Shadow of a Hedgehog um, <coughs> it, that doesn't really matter because you don't give a shit about any of the characters so you be evil and it's only exclusively fun because mm. you're killing all these tiny little creatures sometimes you get to kill Dr. Robotnik don't you sometimes you get to kill Sonic which yeah. is fun goodbye Dr. Karate Chop. It's implied that I'm dead. Okay, that's the end of the episode. Goodbye. See ya.